Under demonstration, we, we have got Q, R, and S as the denominators here. So we're going to have Q, R, and S as our denominator. Q, R, S as our denominator. Now Q into Q, R, S, obviously the Q will cancel the Q, leaving us with an R, S. So we're going to say R, S multiplied by 11, but normally we start with saying 11, R, S, we'll rearrange that in the next layer, plus R into Q, R, S, the R will cancel with the R, leaving us with the Q, S, multiplied by uh, the numerator, minus, then S into Q, R, S, the S will cancel Q, R, uh, the S will cancel the S, leaving us with the Q, R, so you can now see Q, R, multiplied by 8. However, now we get to focus on this layer, we are now going to say, um, 11 RS in algebra, we start with numbers, then followed by the letters, plus obviously 18 uh, QS minus obviously 8 uh, QR. Now, these are unlike terms 11 RS, QS, and QR, so we don't process the answer any further as a result. Now, the next question. 5 over n minus 7 over q plus 3. Now, this is a fraction, this is a fraction, and this is a whole number. But we obviously then have to make it a fraction, so you then say over 1 over here. And because of that, the lowest common number that n, q, and 1 can divide into is just n, q. So if you say n into n, q, we're going to be left with a q. So it's going to be like q multiplied by the numerator, 5 minus q into nq, the q cancels with the q, leaving us with an n, then we multiply by the numerator 7, plus, then 1 into nq is just nq. Remember, 1 into any number is just that number. So, 1 into this, it's going to be 3, we can just say nq3 if you want, 1 into nq is nq, brackets 3. As a result, we are going to have the following, 5q minus 7n minus 3nq and that's what we have that's our q there and since these are unlike terms they can't be processed any further and therefore that becomes our answer for that person so you can obviously uh, maybe uh, pause and observe each of these questions maybe pause this video and then maybe observe how each of the two questions are done